today. It's the Denver Broncos and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And their play calling. Where do they go here on third and six? Bortles has time. Good pass protection. That one is deflected and caught. Neil Sterling. Watching move to his left. Still has his head down the field. As that pass originally was intended for Walters. And then Sterling comes down with it. On third and four, perfectly thrown pass by Bortles to Marquise Lee. And kicks from 49 and in. This one is on target and perfect. On second and nine, another one play called here by Kubiak. And Bibbs breaking free. Inside Jacksonville territory, all the way down to the 30. Lynch, little pitch to Bibbs on second and three. First down and more. Bibbs is eligible, I should say, on second and goal. Another one play to Booker. Breaking a tackle. Booker still going, and he's in for the Broncos touchdown. The rookie, Devontae Booker, watch the effort and energy. Breaks a tackle right there. Spins out of the grasp of Telvin Smith. And then the offensive line pulls and pushes him across the goal line, dragging defenders with him. A great effort right there. You Matched game to this point. Bortles going through the air. That pass deflected and intercepted. It's Chris Harris Jr. for Denver. Another bad break for the Jags. Harris still going. Across the 45, nearly goes head over heels. A cover as tight as any group of cornerbacks in the NFL. This is still tight covers. Watch. See, Robertson had it, but then look. Harris Jr. is able to rake that ball away, and then he comes down with it. 17 seconds, Lynch over the middle, low pass, what a catch by Thomas. Better catch by Demarius Thomas, watch this. Just a foot off the turf, he's able to haul it in. This one much easier from 32, and McManus is good. Appeared to have turned to corner, but six straight losses find themselves at two and nine. Big third and four here, Bordeaux's pass is intercepted. It's picked off by Roby, and no one's gonna catch him. This is the pressure that he's feeling because his left tackle, Kelvin Beecham, gets walked right back by Vaughn Miller. We say pressure leads to picks. Watch the hit on Bortles as he's looking for his intended receiver, Robinson, coming across the field. See how that ball comes out? It flutters, but he never sees Roby. He sees his receiver, but with that traffic, that's the view he had, and you can see from that angle, he could not see Bradley Roby, that he was hit by Vaughn Miller. We say pressure leads to picks. And those penalties, not huge, but they have come at very inopportune times for the Jags. Once again, Bortles goes short. This is Yeldon breaking a tackle. Fourth and four from the 22. Bortles going to run for it. He's got it. And then some. Bortles inside the end zone for the Jaguars. Touchdown. Second and ten. Bortles under pressure, that ball comes loose out of his hands. What's the call here? Denver recovers the football. No signal yet by the officials. And it will be Denver football. It was Shane Ray. Watch as he comes around, he's gonna push the pocket. He gets the soft edge. Look, he just keeps raking and watch it go for the ball right here. So that ball just comes mm. out. But it's because he's getting a push against the tackle, Jeremy Parnell. And look, right there, it hits the shoulder of Parnell. That's when the ball comes out. Pressure provided by Vaughn Miller. Recovery, mm. Shane Ray. To try to put the finishing touches on Jacksonville. This kick on target and perfect. This could be the final play. It likely will be. Yeldon on the screen pass. And that will do it. The Denver Broncos come to Jacksonville and take care of the Jaguars 20 to 10 as Paxton Lynch wins as an NFL starter for the first time in his rookie season.